Coming to the next one, after an accident from the metal works, a mechanic gets injured from a metallic foreign body. So, this is very, very important clue, metallic foreign body. So, what is the investigation of choice? So, because it's a metallic, so MRI will be contraindicated. Therefore, the answer is the CT scan always remember, metallic foreign body and um, most common foreign bodies that we are getting is the chisel and hammer. Another important question that is your chips of the iron. So, that is the reason why MRI is contraindicated. Now, uh, the investigation of choice for the localization is actually CT scan. While if I talk about the investigation of choice for the visual acuity, investigation of choice for visual acuity is the ERG. So, um, the investigation of choice for localization is different. Investigation of choice for the visual acuity is different. You have to be very, very careful about that. Now, another important thing, we have certain do's and don'ts. We have certain do's and don'ts for the penetrating trauma in cases of metallic foreign body. This is also important uh, for your examination. What are the do's? Number one, you have to do the survey of the patient. What, are, what have been uh, the um, sites? What have been the uh, signs and symptoms that you are able to see. So, local survey you have to do. You have to see the visual acuity of the patient as accurately as you can. That is done with the help of the ERG. And number three, you have to start the antibiotics because always the risk of endophthalmitis is there. So, you have to do three th these three things. Now, what are the don'ts? What you don't have to do? So, whatever we feel like doing, tempted to do, those things we don't have to do. So, we don't have to uh, touch the eye, we don't have to rub the eye, we don't have to wash the eye, we don't have to um, cover the eye and we don't have to remove the intraocular foreign body. This is again very, very important. Why? Because we have to first do the uh, localization. First, I will do the CT scan. Then under the OT setup, only ophthalmologist is going to remove the foreign body. So, it's very important that you don't have to remove the foreign body at that time. Okay. Remember these do's and don'ts also. 